shall not borrow money. I'll have more than enough. Wait, I have one particular declaration I'd like you to practice. Father, give me creative ideas. How many of you know this pulpit here is somebody's creative idea? The aircraft we bought. How many of you know how aircraft work? Anybody here? Anybody? Nobody. But somebody, God gave that person an idea how to build an aeroplane. How many of you know the telephones we all use was manufactured by an applicant who could not get a job? This speaker here is somebody's idea. The fan is somebody's idea. The flowers, is, they are somebody's idea. And I want to demand that every morning you wake up, ask God for creative ideas. Can anybody repeat after me? Creative ideas. Say it one more time. The Bible says all the names that animals bear came from Adam. I will take a teaching on that after the new year. I want to show you that ideas rule the world. A chemist drove into a shop with some combination of chemicals and sold these chemicals to the clerk of the chemist shop where they sell drugs. The young man paid him $500 and began to ask to know what that thing was and found out that if properly and well mixed could produce what we now call Coca-Cola. The, the, the chemist sold it to him for $500. Can anybody here imagine how much that young man has made from Coca-Cola? And then another man came to him and said, hey, I know what to do to help you sell this Coca-Cola faster than you do. Only I'll tell you on one condition. That for every $1,000 you realize, you give me $100. And the man said, okay, let's try it. And they entered into uh, an agreement. And he said to him, hey, bottle this Coca-Cola. Bottle it. He asked him, is that all? And the man said, I feel you give me my money. That man who is paid $100 for every 1000 can you imagine how much has realized over these many years across the world? Everyone who is part of our fellowship, heaven owes you creative ideas. Yeah. When you serve us Shoya on Saturday evening, young men, I want to see a measure of creativity. Go home and pray about it. Don't give us Shoya the way the house of man does. Bring in some measure of imagination and creativity. Can you all stand up? Raise up your hand. Repeat after me. Say, I declare, I declare that goodness and favor shall surround me everywhere I go. As a, shield. as a shield this my body, this my body. Shall, carry no shall carry sickness no more for Jesus had died, Jesus had died. That, I have good that I may have good health 
I declare, I declare whatever I lay my hand to do shall prosper. I also declare that in my home there shall be happiness. There shall be songs. There shall be dance. And the peculiar concentrated presence of God shall be in my house. And that presence of God shall mock every sickness, every enemy, every witch, every wizard that mocks me. I declare I am no longer an ordinary person. I am now an extraordinary person. God shall do something extra in my life every day. And it begins now and shall continue all the days of my life. Premature death you have no part anymore in my life. For Jesus died that I may live long and I shall live long. It shall be so. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Sit down. You don't have to have me in your house every day. You can build your own and improve your own. And say it over yourself. Can we see the book of Is that a man or a woman? Is a man. Sister, help her, please. Can you change that chair? Let's see the book of Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Everybody hear what the Bible says. This your mouth contains life and contains death. The power of this your mouth can produce and generate and supply life to you. Beginning tonight, you must speak in a way that your mouth will produce. No, read on, read on. What does it say? And they that love it shall eat the fruit. Those of that heart. know how to use their tongue, they will enjoy the fruits of their tongue. Beginning today, this your mouth must produce life for you. Yeah. Raise your hand and say, My mouth shall produce only life for me. There are things you must not say. Never you say again, I am unlucky. Never you say, oh, people hate me. You'll be amazed when you treat those who hate you as though they love you. They will change their position. For the Bible says, give. Give kindness and people will be kind towards you. Be friendly and people be friendly towards you. Be nice and people be nice towards you. So use your mouth and decide what your world will be. Never you say again, people from my family don't get, to, don't get pregnant on time. For the Bible teaches and history confirms that if any man is in Christ Jesus, he's a new creation. Stop telling me there are demons in your family more than the power of God. It's not true. I don't care who your father were. Your father may have been a native doctor. That is yesterday. Yesterday is a cancel check. Tomorrow is a promissory note. Today is what? Cash. Don't join your family members to confess death to your life. <laughs> I 
in those days they used to tell us that if any member of my family would buy a car he would not drive that car to a village alive I must have I must have gotten more than 50 cars and I've driven them all to our village there was this day I got a dear child message from a pardon saying hey don't go to Newe you will die and somebody in my house also had dreamt where I died I said to them my driver will not drive me I will drive myself if I see death I'll crush death <laughs> Satan is free to throw stones at you but you have the power to reject some of the stones I drove to Newe. My driver begged me and said, Don't let me, hey, I don't know your covenant with death. Sit by my side and watch me take the driver's seat. He asked me, Will I still be on allowance? I'll give you double your allowance. But be only an observer. I'll drive this car myself. I drove to Newe. I agree at night while preaching. God said to me, Man, a man wearing pants is standing behind you with a basin of water under the platform. You know what to do. Of course, I knew what to do. So I told the crowd, hey, there's a young man behind the platform wearing only pants. His basin of water, water is under this pulpit, I mean under the platform. But something will happen to him. He will spin around seven times. When he falls, carry him away. I wish you knew how much power you have. We, we had a program for Rumba North. Anybody from Anambra here? You know Rumba North? Good. As soon as we were about to start the program, one young man walked up to me and said, hey, 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 you can't preach here without my permission. I rule in this area. You, you rule in this area? He said, yes. And I said, if I pray for you, you will die. But I'll raise a song. You will spin around seven times. When you fall, you will sleep. And you sleep throughout this, my preaching. When the enemy attacks you, don't fold your hand and say, Satan, oh, you have your way. Have your no. You are a soldier. Can, can somebody say, when the enemy pushes me, I will bounce back? I, I raised the song, to where I am, and the man fell. Youths, young men in that meeting came and carried the man and began to shout, Onyebweze, Jesus. No, 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 I told them, hey, I didn't ask you to carry him. Leave him there to sleep. They brought him back and he was still under the anointing and was still sleeping. Can somebody raise his or hand and say, I am now too dangerous for any enemy to handle? No, stand up and say to four persons, I am now too dangerous for any enemy to handle. for Christmas don't let anybody frighten you if any uncle or any cousin or anybody threatens you stop pause ponder and respond tell 
the person you are from this fellowship that we don't take nonsense. <laughs> My wife and I were driving out of our village. An age mate of mine stopped us and said to me, Uma, every time we witches and wizards around here try to reach you, we'll find a wall of fire all over you. One day we shall break through that wall of fire and deal with you. Ah, ah. Good woman. I have no quarrel with you. What, what is this? He said, I only want to warn you. And I said, okay. It's my turn to say something, sir. In seven days' time, they'll put tie around your neck and set you on fire. And it will be at our village square. I don't know what to have. But if you are one of us, you also have the name of the Lord. <laughs> then he said to Goliath, I come against you with the name of the Lord. How many of you have that name of the Lord here? Anybody? Then you are dangerous. Huh? Why don't you declare and say, I am too dangerous for any enemy to handle? I will stop there. Let's go to the book of Exodus chapter 12. Let's take verse 11. And thus shall you eat it with your loins guarded, your shoes on your feet. And with your, your loins guarded, yes. And your shoes on your feet and your staff in your hand. And ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. Now, I, I, I don't want to spend much time on this. I have preached too many times on this. But I want to bring a new revelation of knowledge. This was God trying to stop or trying to initiate animal sacrifice. And when Israel left the wilderness and became a nation, they moved this animal sacrifice into their temple and began to sacrifice in their temples. But in chapter 1 verse 29, let's see the book of John, chapter 1 verse 29. Something happened, there was a change. The next day, the next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and said, "John seeth Jesus coming." Yes, he was saying, John the Baptist was saying, God is going to stop animal sacrifice with His own Son. After this sacrifice, there shall be no more animal sacrifice. But let's go back. So chapter 12 of the book of Exodus This animal sacrifice Was to do something For Israel It was to Give them divine protection Can somebody read the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 This year It was to give them divine protection Raise your hand and say No weapon Sharpen against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up to judge me shall be condemned. It was the same divine protection for the Bible says God said to Israel the angel of destruction shall move from family to family. But, I've asked you to sprinkle the blood of this animal 
on the two sides of your door and the upper area of your door which is the cross when I see this blood I'll pass over you it sounded stupid that Israelites were going to do this God said I'm going to send an angel of destruction this Christmas is coming it's usually a moment of destruction Many people get involved in accidents, others are poisoned, others are charmed as they go home. But you, as you take this communion tonight, you'll be protected from every attack. Yeah. Let's see the book of Exodus chapter 13 verse 21. 13 to what does it say? And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud everybody look up and look at me when israel left egypt there appeared unto them a cloud and this cloud was not an ordinary cloud it was god's presence and this presence protected them this this cloud Provided for them. Can we see the book of Isaiah 48, verse 17? 48, 17. What does it say? God says the Lord. God says the Lord. Thy redeemer. Thy redeemer. The Holy One of Israel. The Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord. I am thy the God, Lord your God. Which teacheth thee to prophesy. I will teach you. Stand up and say to four persons, God will teach me and make my life profitable. is what I call divine provision. Beginning today, you will now be an asset to your family. Yeah. Christmas is still far away. I want to announce that you, as you go home this Christmas, you are going to be a multiplied blessings to your people. God has promised to teach you and make your life profitable. This cloud provided for Israel. This cloud brought manna from above. This cloud brought water from the rock. And this same God, can we turn to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9? What does he say? Anybody? For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Write it down. Don't just look at me. Write down that Bible passage. The Bible said, you know the grace that was upon our Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was though rich, he was rich yet he became for your sakes. No. Tell two people by your side, he became poor that I may be rich. Well, when I speak of being rich, I'm not saying you'll buy a helicopter tomorrow. <laughs> Most of my friends who have helicopters cannot fly helicopter, helicopters all the time. Because they don't have good mechanics to imagine it. <laughs> when we speak of being rich, we mean that assignment God has for you. That thing God wants you to do in this life. You were created on purpose for a purpose. You are here to fulfill a function. There is something that only you can do. No other person can do it. <laughs> if you remember the leader of, of the redeemed said at the last uh, banner conference of PFN he said stop copying Omar he will preach and dance and sing and miracles will happen 
Don't copy him. That's the way God made him. There cannot be another woman. No. Somebody said to me, can I have double your anointing? And I said, my friend, I have not finished training my children. I'm not ready to die. Only a man at the point of departure can heaven give out his anointing in double measure. Those of us who are just young, about to begin life. <laughs> Wait, why are you excited? The only old man is a man who has no dream. If you have a dream, you cannot be old. I'm still building colleges. So I can't be old. The only old man is a man who has stopped learning. When you stop learning, you begin to decay from your neck up. But if you still study every day, you're a young man. And I still study six hours a day, so I'm a young man. Can we go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, 19 through 20? And I will rejoice in Jerusalem. I will rejoice in Jerusalem. And joy in my people. God will rejoice in you. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard. Beginning in your house. tonight, the voice of weeping shall no more be heard in your house. Nor the voice of crying. Nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more things and infants of days. No child shall die prematurely in your house. Yeah. Nor an old man that hath not filled his or days. Or an old man that has not fulfilled his days. Yeah. For the child shall die an hundred years old. Yeah. Raise your hand and say, I shall live long. I shall live long. I will not die prematurely. I'll fulfill my days on earth as God has promised. So it shall be. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That cloud provided distance for Israel. Our own cloud is the Holy Spirit. He is the executive arm of Trinity. He is with us here. And will go home with you. He is your own cloud. When he stops, you stop. When people ask you to do things, I, I ask them to allow you to consult the Holy Spirit. There are people who came to me for prayer to become governor. Uh, and I said to some of them, I just asked God to help you. One of them I said, I consulted God and God said, Oh man, if this man can stop drinking of alcohol, I'll make him governor. I told him he began to cry. My friend, why are you crying? He said, I drink behind doors. Just yesterday, my wife caught me drinking alcohol and we quarreled. And you asked me to bring her. That means that God in heaven knows I drink alcohol. And I said, he knows. She spoke to me. And he began to cry. As people of God, we must learn how to consult God. How to consult the Holy Spirit. Before we take major decisions. Let's see the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 8. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue. 
For thou shalt surely overtake them and without He consulted them. God. That is what the cloud did for Israel. But now our own cloud is it was not a natural cloud. It was God's presence. That what with them. Now we have the Holy Spirit. As we take this communion tonight, ask God to show you how to consult the Holy Spirit. How to listen to him. Can we see the book of the book of Psalm chapter 32 verse 8? What does it say? I will instruct thee. Everybody hear this. I want you to hear. The Bible teaches that God prospers by instruction. Everyone who will be part of our communion tonight, you are no longer an ordinary person. You must learn how to seek his instruction. He is promising here to instruct you. Ask God, what do I do? My own sister was running for the office of the deputy governor of our state. She asked me to declare her the winner. And I said, no. God did not say so. She asked me, what did God say? I said, God said you will fail. She said, but the party gave me this post because they believe your pronouncements will make, will make us successful. And I said, sorry. When I consulted God, he said, both you and the party will fail. She said, but I wanted money from you. No, I can't give you more than 800,000 because you will, not, you will not win this election. She began to cry. And I said, when you're through with crying, tell me I've joined you to cry. You'll not win the election. <laughs> the sad thing is when she brought a candidate from the party for me to pray for that young man. I, I said to her, you came late. I have to pray for another person for the same post. And I have confirmed him the winner. She said, what, what, did I do? what did I do to offend you? You didn't offend me. Tomorrow belongs to God. Only God knows what tomorrow will be. So when we ask him and he tells us what tomorrow will bring, we don't have power to question it. A prophet does not prophesy at will. He prophesies as God directs him. Can we see the book of 2 Kings chapter 3? Let's tell verse 11 and verse 12. We shall return to chapter 30, uh, 32 of the book of Psalms. Yes, sir. But Jehoshaphat said, Jehoshaphat said, yeah, Is there not here in this Lord, place a man of God that will may inquire of the Lord by him? And one of the king of Israel servants answered and said, Here is Elisha, here is Elisha, here is Elisha the son of Shaphat. The which son of Shaphat. poured water on the hands which of poured Elijah. water on the hands of Elijah. And Elijah. Joshua said, Joshua the, the said, word of the Lord the is word with him. of the Lord is with him. So the king of Israel and Joshua and the king of Edom went down to him. They went to him. And Elijah said unto the king Elijah, of Israel, Elijah said unto the king of what Israel, have I to do with What thee? have I to do with Get thee? To the prophets of that wicked man. Go to the prophet of your father. And the king of Israel said unto him, Nay. Can you see, at that time he was bitter and angry. And he, had, he lost the prophetic anointing. A prophet does not prophesy at will. Read on, sir. And the king of Israel, for the Lord had called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of Moab. No, and no, Elisha no. said, Elisha said, As the Lord of hosts liveth, as the Lord of hosts before, liveth, whom, I before stand, whom I stand, surely were it not that I were regard the presence for, I have of Jesus, regard for Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, the king of Judah, I will not look toward thee, yes. nor see thee. Yes. But now bring me a mystery. Now he called for musicians. And it came to pass. Because when because song is an song well sung, not every song. Where we had meeting last week, 
the, the, their songs were so loud that they drove away the Holy Spirit. I was forced to stand up and ask them, do you know what they have done? You have just driven away the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I was amused that the elders of the church clapped for me. I'm talking about a song that discusses music. In, in, in worship, in singing, in playing instruments, you don't compete as to who will be louder. You discuss. If you listen to Congolese, when they play, they don't do what we do in Nigeria. They discuss. The guitarists will discuss with the trumpeters. The trumpeters will discuss with the vocalists. And they'll produce music. A song well sung is an invitation that God cannot refuse. And every one of us must have instruments of worship in your house. When you feel you are under attack, play good songs to God. Any witch that flies into your compound, the wings will be clipped. We, I, we had this spirit three weeks ago. A witch came to her house. But the winds were clipped that she could not land and she could not fly from that evening till morning hours. Hey, right where you are this morning, I want you, this night, I want you to hear me. If you're ready to do what will position God's peculiar concentrated presence upon you and your house, your enemies will be in trouble. I don't know who that witch is, but she will never come back to her compound. When we first moved into where we are now, every time I left for crusade, a witch would, would perch on one of my trees and would frighten my children. One day I came back and they said, Daddy, that, that." That all has come back. So I came out and I said to the all, Madam, I know you. You're my neighbor. If you don't pack out tomorrow before 7 o'clock, you will die. Don't dare me. When Jesus said, All power is given to me. And he said, Therefore, go. What does that mean? It means I'll be standing behind you with all the resources of heaven. <laughs> when half of the armies of heaven stand in your compound, all your enemies will kneel down. One more time. Tell somebody, I am too dangerous for any enemy to handle. You know, the next morning, before 6 a.m., the woman packed out of that compound. And surprisingly, that compound had remained vacant till now. Finally, the Holy Communion is to restore us back to the status of the first Adam. The first Adam was never sick. He was intelligent. He lived a life of abundance. He had a river. He had gold. He had a garden. Garden plus gold plus a river has a lot of wealth. And so what we read says Jesus became poor that he may increase your creativity and your imagination. I don't know whether you know, any man of imagination cannot be a failure. I'm beginning tonight you must ask God to increase your creativity 
and your imagination. What does that mean? It's the ability to ask God to help you step out of the map. Do what others believe is impossible. Don't let impossibilities frighten you. My greatest pain is that in Africa, we allow problems to frozen us. You go to a mechanic with your broken car, <clears throat> he will tell hey, say, hey, buy new parts, buy new parts. <clears throat> Take the same vehicle to overseas. You see mechanics who will find out what went wrong and they'll correct it. Beginning today, don't be afraid of problems. For we grow, but the problems will solve. Are you ready for such life? Only men who have solved great problems are remembered. How many of you know? Those who do what others can do are never remembered. I'm going to ask God to increase your wisdom, increase your knowledge, increase your creativity, increase your imagination, increase your courage, increase your boldness, increase your preparedness and readiness to confront any problem that comes your way because every Goliath has an unprotected forehead and there are stones waiting for you to pick with which to <laughs> we serve an awesome God if you are here this night and you want to hand over your life to Christ to be ruled by him. You want his spirit to rule your life. He has already finished your redemption. Uh, he has paid for your redemption. You don't need to do anything except to believe and receive your salvation by faith. His body was broken that you may enjoy good health. This night, I'm looking for those who said to God, I want you to guide my life and lead my life and direct my life and instruct me. Show me what to do that I may be what you want me to be. Such people can you run and come to the altar. I will pray for you. you. You want to hand over your life to Christ. And you want to know him personally and intimately and experientially and empirically. And you stand up. Come quickly. Or you were on fire. Now you have lost your zeal. And you want to rededicate yourself unto the Lord. Before we start the communion, come out here and hand over your life to Christ. And say to God, I'm sorry. The way I have lived my life recently. Forgive me. Come into my heart. as my Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer. And turn my weakness into strength. Open my ears to hear your voice. I want to be directed by you. I want to be instructed by you. I, I, I want you to start a school for me. Make me your one student. When I sleep upon my bed, open my ears to receive instruction from you. Father, I don't want to be an ordinary person. I want to live a life of distinction here on earth and live with you in heaven. Father, help me. Can somebody say, I surrender, oh Jesus. I surrender, oh, oh to thee, my Blessed Savior, I'm sorry. Maybe you were Christian some time ago, but problems of life have made you to backslide. And you want to re re rededicate yourself unto the Lord. Can you stand up and join them? There are, there are 24 of you who are sitting down, who should be here, kneeling down. Don't let this chance pass you by. 24 of you, can you stand up and come? That's number one. 
that's number two that's number three number four number five number six number seven number eight number nine number ten number eleven number twelve number thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four I surrender all. I surrender all. I surrender all. I surrender all. Oh, to Thee, my blessed Savior. Can the rest of us stand up and rededicate yourself unto the Lord? Stand up, everybody. Not you. No, no, no. Remember where you are. No, not you. Go sitting down. Stand up and rededicate yourself. Tell God you want to be on fire for Him. That you want to be zealous for Him. That you want to rededicate yourself unto Him. Please, you'll be at the bandstand on Saturday for us. It will last only for two hours. We'll pick the beer. We'll, we'll, we'll do you well. In Jesus' name, repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I have decided to obey you at all costs, at any time at any place. Father, I want to be on fire for you. Increase my zeal. Increase my passion. Increase my commitment and dedication unto you. Father, I want to love you with all my heart. Take away excuses from me. Let my life please you. For I ask in Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. amen. Father, we are stepping into a new month as a minister and as a fellowship. This coming miracle convention shall be to us a new month, a new season, a new day, a new year. Father, everyone that shall be part of this program shall no longer be an ordinary person. Help us to focus on your omnipotence during this program. Father, set us on fire and whoever comes close to us shall also be on fire. Anywhere we go, witches and wizards in that place shall lose their businesses. Yeah. Father, we are asking for the unction you gave the disciples of the New Testament. We shall be aggressive soul winners. Father, beginning tonight, let no unbeliever be comfortable by being in our presence. Yeah. Father, I declare that everyone here is now an ambassador of the government of God in heaven. Yeah. Father, I demand that you turn our weakness into strength. Yeah. Plant in our heart hunger to know you. Amen. To know you more. Amen. Father, we want to join King David 
who said, as the heart pants after water brooks, so he panted after you. May we seek after you and pine after you and hunger after you and thirst after you and long after you. Father, I declare tonight our night of new beginning. Father, I declare tonight the beginning of our unending laughter. Everyone who is part of this service, Father, bring the fire of the Holy Ghost to him or her. Let every dead wood in us be burnt to ashes. Be burnt to ashes. Be burnt to ashes. Father, we dedicate our tongues. We shall use our tongues no more to speak God. Father, open our ear that we may hear you. And sanctify our hearts that we may receive only what edifies. And ignore what does not edify. I declare everyone within the reach of my voice. As a great soldier of the cross. And sicknesses are now rebuked. Failure is rebuked. Poverty is rebuked. Sin is rebuked. In the life of each one here. It shall be so. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Give a good clap of friend. There are, don't go, don't go. There are, there are counselors who will help us know how to locate you, how to help you, how to assist you, how to become, a mem how you can become a member of, of our family. You may make your name you born and in your you Wait, can we have the children for dedication? Move to this room. Let's dedicate them before we take our communion. In case somebody falls under the anointing through the communion. What are they? What are they? What are they? Give me my dear, Give me my dear, Give me my dear, you born and Give me my dear, you born and
Pastor, come carry one. Anyone left? Okay, let the parents of the children listen to me. Number one, these children, they are gifts of the Lord. You are not a mother because of your righteousness. It's a lie. It's a gift, and a gift is a gift. Number two, you have to, you will give account of what you have done with these children at the Bema seat of Christ. What does that mean? Hear me very well. When you quarrel with your husband, don't recruit your child to join you in that quarrel. Please. I am amazed that women are busy recruiting their children to do what they do, including my own mother. My mother wants her enemies to be my enemies. And I've been telling her, Madam, I am no longer your baby. I belong to somebody. I go by the law of this new government. Number two, all you husbands, you, it is easier to love your child than to love your wife. But if you want to love your child, first love the mother. It's like people who don't like us, but they like God. <laughs> it's a lie. You have to like God first before you like God. Love your wife. God did not promise you a perfect wife. And I want to say nobody should pray for a perfect wife. It slows their growth. Don't marry a woman when you say, stand up, we we'll stand up. You are married to a robot. You need a wife when you say, stand up, we we'll ask you, why must we stand up? My mother said to me, I have found a good girl for you. A girl who will demand account. If you marry a girl who will not demand account, you will not succeed in life. I didn't understand what she was talking until uh, an hour after our wedding. I went out with, with my friends. On my return, my wife wanted to know where I went and who and who were with me. Madam. Well, this is too early in the, in the day to answer these questions. Number four, all husbands hear me. It is not biblically correct that your wife will take care of you. You are to provide all her needs and take care of her. 
and take care of her own parents. Are you all hearing me? Have you heard me? Number six. Please make sure and only a merchant of knowledge can become a wise man. Therefore, you must pant after knowledge. You must pine after knowledge and seek after knowledge. The first child, what's her name? Her name is uh, Tehila Chidera David Oke. Tehila. 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 Yes, praise song. Is that German name or? It's Hebrew for praise. Well, I don't see her as an Israelite. <laughs> Give her a name that we can call. Yeah, her, she us Chidera. Chidera. The next one, what's her name? Jim Dima. Jim Dima. The third one, what's her name? We don't have any boy here. Okay, go on. Onyechi. Onyechi. That's what. That's a girl or a boy. A girl. It's a girl. Anyone who is tired of having girls, see me. No, 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 no. It will not last more than two minutes. You will start having boys all the way. I must have helped more than ten thousand families across the world. Okay, next one. What's his name? Her name? Her name is Precious in Amy City Fort. Precious. That's great. Me. Great. 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 Okay. Next one. What's his name? It's Precious in Amy City Fort. Precious. Who fought? Joshua. Joshua Peter Essien. Joshua Peter Essien. Joel okay. Victor Ben. Joel, Joel Victor Ben. Victor Ben. Yes, Wonderful. The last person. Obongawang. Emekemeabasi. Obongawang. Obongawang. Emekemeabasi. Obongawang. Is that the best name to call her? Don't worry, you and your husband review that name. Okay. It's like people who call their children prince. Uh, you, life is made in a way you start from the scratch and keep scratching. Can we all stand up, everybody? You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I put your song at and me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm for idiot song and me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I bonnet the be. I can Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even ye di coke bube. I can Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, my 
Aleluia. Aleluia. Father, we have come with instruments of music to worship and celebrate you. Only you can cause these miracles to happen. No woman is a mother because of her righteousness or her greatness. Children, they remain a gift to us. Therefore, every one of these children presented to you tonight, write his or her name as a member of your family and build a wall of fire run about them. Every voice that speaks against their families shall not speak against them. I demand that that voice shall speak no more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Father, every child here was created on purpose for a purpose. And therefore, knowing that purpose without pursuit leads to frustration. Show them how to pursue the purpose of their creation. Beginning tonight, for their sakes, these families shall be blessed. Each one of them shall grow to take care of his or her parents. Each child shall not be a child for his or her parents' old age. Father, for their sake, this family shall lack no more. Amen. They will struggle no more. Amen. They will sweat no more. Amen. Goodness and mercy shall follow them. Amen. Father, I declare, they will never beg for money Amen. or borrow money Amen. or owe anybody. Amen. No matter how many problems the enemy shall create. They will always have more than enough. Amen. Father, I declare that these children shall be children of an extraordinary success. Amen. Wherever they go, they will command attention. Amen. They'll be honored and they'll be celebrated. Amen. They shall also be instruments of revival in the house of the Lord. Amen. Father, only godly people shall befriend them. Only godly people shall be close to them. They will marry only godly people. And their children shall not be ordinary children, but seeds of Abraham. I therefore dedicate all of them and cover them with the blood of Jesus and demand that an angel be appointed to every one of them. And this angel shall fight their battles. A man who has a living God does not fight his battles. So, Father, fight for them. And I want to add, dear Lord, that each of them shall be too dangerous for any enemy to handle. And your presence around them shall mock everything that mocks them. Any eye that sees them shall call them blessed of the Lord. Any ear that hears about them shall call them blessed of the Lord. Father, you ask me to announce that it shall be well with them. Amen. I announce that it shall be well with you. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Because of time, you'll only receive gifts from us. We'll hear your testimony after the new year. Welfare, please give us. Praise give. the Lord! No, no, make it, no, make it fast. Don't, no long grammar. Just call them one after another. They will give to all of them. Please, let's make it fast. We don't have time. We're going to have Holy Communion.
the mighty God, mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, everybody listen very well. All the speakers for a miracle convention, each one shall come with his own peculiar anointing. I therefore want to recommend that your family be encouraged to have to bring your own seats and have your own area where you will always sit every day of this program. What used to happen in Lagos and people would drive from here to Lagos. Some would die on the way. We decided to ask God to bring the same level of anointing to you. Encourage your family members from day one to have your own chairs and sit in a special area where you will stand up and say to God, let the anointing deposited in each of the speakers do for us what that anointing was designed to do. As preachers, we don't have the same emphasis. We don't have the same message. <laughs> I was amused when one of the leaders said to me, I, I want to hear you. I've not heard you for one year. I, I long to hear you. At the last Pentecostal program in Port Harcourt, the governor came and said, I want to hear you. I've not heard you for one year. We don't speak the same thing. We don't say the same thing. Don't join the crowd. Miracle is preparation plus opportunity. Prepare yourself. There is nothing like something for nothing. There's no free lunch even in America. So plan to come as a family. Sit together. Who knows what each speaker will bring. This coming program must be the major turning point of your life. Yeah. Father, on, on that day, you, you, you took bread. You broke it and you said, this is my body. I was broken for your health and your divine healing. Tonight we eat that every body let nobody be allowed to carry sickness of any kind. Because your body was broken that we may enjoy good health. And for that must start this night. Every sickness that has a name must obey the name of Jesus. Yeah. Father, help your children to believe your word. For when Israel took this communion and went through the wilderness, not one person was feeble amongst them. And they ended that journey with silver and gold. Everyone who shall be part of our service tonight shall not end with any sickness. Yeah. Father, bless each one with silver and gold. Yeah. With good health, divine health. Yeah. Not only divine healing, but divine health. Yeah. Father, we were bought with your blood. And so as we drink of this blood tonight, may we remember our salvation was paid for by you. If there is any among us who is not yet born again, do not allow him to enjoy peace until he knows you personally and intimately and experientially and empirically and livingly and as a living reality. I demand, dear Lord, that this night shall be our night of walking away from our Egypt. And all the sicknesses of Egypt shall be left behind. It shall be so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. 
choir lead us in solemn songs as the elder self. Please, you are coming out to take your communion. Ushers will direct us. Come from behind. Ushers, help us from each row to come forward. fast move fast we don't want to spend more than 10 minutes and at the end i'm going to say five minutes miracle prayer so don't hurry home wait for that prayer Move fast. Can we all stand up? Everybody stand up, stand up. Those of you who have had their own communion, tell God what you want this communion to do for you. As soon as everybody has had his or her share, I will say five minutes powerful miracle prayer. Those of you who have not had, please take your own and move on. Want to close. Remember, all members of the planning committee for our convention, tomorrow, 5 o'clock, want to review our progress. Want to look into our problems. Tonight, I'll be I want the bachelors, the young, the newly married uh, men to meet quickly. See me by 12 noon tomorrow for your Shia night uh, provision. Every girl who wants to get married, you must be at the Shia night. 
it is our time and our turn to pray for you that God may honor you with a caring, loving, hardworking, diligent, intelligent, humorous husband. And all the bachelors and your newly married young men, show us you will be a great husband by serving our sisters, our daughters, our mamas. Please, can somebody make this line to move faster? We want to close. Among the men that shall be in charge of the, that shall take the responsibility of preparing us for the Shreya night, we are going to recruit 20 of you to be part of our security team. So if you want to serve at that level of responsibility, your zonal leader must confirm and affirm and attest to the fact that you are one of us. We will not just allow anybody and everybody to join our security unit. So if you want to be one of them, one of our security officers, let your zonal leader give you a note. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord shall do for me, it shall be permanent, permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord shall do for me, it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. permanent. It shall be permanent. permanent. What the Lord shall do for me. It shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord shall do for me. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall be permanent. Permanent. What the Lord shall do for me. It shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall be Let me fast. Let me fast. It shall be permanent. shall be permanent What the Lord shall do for me, it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord shall do for me, it shall be permanent. Hiya, hiya. Please be fast, be fast.
It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord shall do for me, it shall be permanent. shall be permanent what the Lord shall do for me it shall be permanent it shall be permanent it shall be permanent. permanent. What the Lord shall do for me, it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord shall do for me, it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord shall do for me, it shall be. Somebody help us in this area. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord shall do for me, it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. permanent. It shall be permanent. permanent. What the Lord shall do for me, it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord shall Let do me for fast, me, be fast. it shall be permanent. transport committee you were not in our last meeting and if we don't see you tomorrow i will dissolve that committee it's a privilege to serve god not everybody is called to serve god i am shocked that not even one member of the transport committee was in our meeting last thursday if you know any of them tell them what i have said Can we all stand up? Stand up, everybody stand up, stand up, stand up. Some of you act like we are 200 years old. I have been standing and I'm still standing. Psst, children, no noise making. There are eight people here amongst us tonight who have three prayer requests that Satan will not allow heaven to answer. Not that they will stop heaven, but they are contesting those three prayer requests. I want you to represent them now. I'll take over from you. Those three requests must be honored and be answered and be released to you this night. Can we all pray? Everybody take five minutes okay remove your hand from your pocket can we all pray everybody take first stop looking up and down some of you are like unbelievers 
Is there any prayer topic you have been praying over it and Satan will not allow you to receive answers to those three prayer topics? Can you pray? In Jesus' name. Except you are one of our workers or pastors, can you stand still and close your eyes and say to God, if I am one of those eight persons, stop looking up and down. You are not an unbeliever. Can you close your eyes? Stop looking at me. I am not the story. Madam, can you close your eyes and pray? Father, you spoke to me about eight persons. And you said their problems are no longer a problem but an emergency. The enemy mocks them. Come, no more movement. Madam, hey, stop, stop, stop. Stand there until the power of God breaks out. Father, you showed me eight persons vividly, clearly, who weep and groan and ask, Where is my God? And Satan mocks them, and their own relations mock them. You told me clearly that the demons contesting answer to the prayers shall now be arrested. Yeah. On my right hand side, on my left hand side, and in the gallery, Father, look into families, look into businesses, look into health, Look into marriages. Look into families, Father. Find out for, find out those that fast and pray over giving issues. And the enemy mocks them. Tonight I demand you arise and let the enemies be scattered. Father, don't let them carry this problem into the new year. Yeah. At the beginning of our service tonight, you told me tonight is our night of new beginning. Yeah. The beginning of our unending laughter. Yeah. Let the cloud move in favor of your children. Yeah. Let the cloud move. Let the cloud move. Father, let your spirit arise. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. Somebody help. Workers help us. Ushers help us. Ushers help us.
every sickness among the children, every sickness among parents, any sickness that takes away people's money. Every problem that mocks and ridicules. Father, arise. Let your presence mock those problems. And let your people be set free. 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 Thou power of God. In the name of Jesus. Awesome God. Give a chair. How many do we have? Father, there are three more. Any name holding those three. Any man holding those three. Any witch holding those three. Any remaining two. Any name holding those two. Any sickness, any disease, any affliction. On my right hand side or my left hand side. Somebody help that man. Put him down on his chair. Somebody help this lady. That's the last one. Can we all say to God, Lord, we thank you. Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus. quiet for one minute. Just close your eyes. Please, just recognize the presence of God. Workers, help us. There are three more persons. I don't know what their problems are. Who are saying in their hearts, shall we go back the same? Shall we go back as we came? Shall this problem continue? Father, I hear three people cry. Okay, they are now. Somebody help. Somebody help. Somebody help. Somebody help. Please. Help, help him, help him well. If the chair is broken, take it away. Father, I know that everyone who is part of this service is precious in thy sight. And no one shall be ignored. And no one shall be taken for granted. Even as your children go, let their miracles continue to happen. Yeah. Already we cannot help but thank you. You have been more than wonderful to us. You have been gracious to us. You have been merciful to us. You have loved us beyond the imagination. And Father, we celebrate you. And we adore you. And we worship you. Father, thank you for calling us your people. And telling us how precious we are to you. 
Therefore, as your people go from here, no harm shall come their way. The voice of heaven shall ring in their hearts and new creative ideas shall come to them. Father, they will not reconcile unto failure and defeat and poverty and sin. For you have paid for those things. Let each one stand in front of the bank of heaven and collect his or her due. Father, remember you promised to help us end this year with double honor, double blessings. Let that miracle start now. Each one, even newcomers, each one shall end this year with double promotion, double blessings, double honor. May we be like Israel when they said, when you turned our captivity, we were like men that dream. We shall be like men that dream. Awesome God. There's a key to a car in my hand. I dedicate that car and I ask for those people amongst us who have no means of mobility and who, who have families. Don't let this year end without a means of mobility for them. And let the miracle start now. Everybody raise up your hand, just bless the Lord and thank the Lord. Our chairman will come and dismiss you. Just lift up your hands and celebrate God. Adore him as our father is living. No other movement, please. Just celebrate God, magnify him, exalt Jesus. We also emphasize that the whole the team. Those who have not gotten this should please get some. Can we lift up our hands and say, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I should dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Let's shout three big amen. 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 Amen.